Hey guys, Eli here. And on this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between a $60,000 a year real estate photo business and a $250,000 a year real estate photo business. And that difference is actually not in the photo side of the business at all. It is in the add-ons. So as a real estate photography company, a real estate media company, as you more accurately will be, especially if you want to get to that 250K a year milestone, you will be providing a lot more than just standard photos. You'll be providing drone photos, virtual twilight photos, videos, and a bunch of other products that will really help boost your average order value into those higher numbers that will allow you to scale your business to $250,000 a year plus, even as a single photographer, meaning you're the only one working for your company. Obviously those numbers can go as high as you want after that point, but before you decide to scale your real estate photo business, it is a very smart move to work on making it as profitable and as high revenue as you can when there's just one of you. That way when you do scale and hire people, you're hiring people that will be able to make a lot more revenue than they would be able to if they were just shooting standard photos. So jumping right into to my photo business's website, I want to show you guys our order form. This is what clients see when they actually book a photo shoot with us, and it will give you a better insight into what those add-ons are that we offer. Like I said earlier, one of the most important things you can do if you want to increase your profitability, increase your revenue, and ultimately be able to scale your company is to increase your average order value. That means you want clients ordering as many services as possible for each shoot. Now, obviously there's a lot of reasons for this. The most apparent is that means your invoices are higher, so you're making more money. But the reason that's so important is because you're actually making more money per shoot, meaning there are some costs that stay the same. Your drive time from and to the shoot doesn't change if you increase the value of that shoot. And you'll actually be able to just do more revenue in a day and therefore your photographers will be able to do more revenue in a day if the average house that they do is higher. And even if they end up doing less houses because they're spending more time at each house. So here's our website here. You can see that we have three packages, our base pro and our plus packages. But I'm gonna get back to those in a second. I wanna show you some of the add-ons that we offer. So you can see here that we have drone photos. That's obviously more along the lines of standard photos, but it does require a drone, so it's an add-on. We do virtual twilight photos, which is where we take the regular daylight photos and we edit them to look like twilight. We offer normal twilight photos, but then here's where it gets to some more add-on type things. You can see we offer fireplace replacement, TV screen replacement, grass screening. We offer videos, a bunch of different options, 60 second and 120 second. We offer reels for social media, which is vertical video. We offer virtual staging, which is pretty cool. It actually allows you to put digital furniture into a space to give buyers a better idea for the space. We offer floor plans, which I'm gonna talk about more in a second because they're an awesome first add-on to add to your business and they're really easy to create. We even offer virtual illustrations, which these are usually offered as closing gifts for clients. So you can see that we do a lot more than just standard real estate photos and that significantly allows us to increase our average order value. At my company this year, our average order value has been about $335. Whereas if we just offered photos, our average order value would be somewhere around the $150 range. So by offering add-ons, we're able to double the amount of revenue per shoot that we do. And again, a lot of these don't actually increase the amount of time on location, at least by very much. And so that allows us to be a lot more profitable. So jumping up to our packages here, these are our most commonly ordered items along with the most commonly ordered add-ons because obviously they're a part of that package. So we have our base photo package, which includes our 25 photo package, plus a floor plan with room measurements and a marketing kit. Now, the reason we chose the floor plan and the marketing kit is because they're both very easy and very little time required add-ons to produce. So the marketing kit is something our system HD Photo Hub automatically creates, so we actually don't do anything for that. And the floor plan, which I'm gonna talk about more in a second, only takes us about five minutes to create. Moving up to our pro media package, you can see our price increases by $100. We up it to our 40 photo package. You still get the floor plan and the marketing kit, but we also add on drone photos. Drone photos are another very low time and low cost add-on, but we're able to charge a lot more because we added that to the package. And then moving up to the top one, we have our plus media package. This is kind of for the people that just want to spend a lot on a listing. It's not that commonly ordered, but we still want to make it an option. It also serves to make the other packages feel pretty cheap. So we have our 40 photo package, uh, our video, 60 second video, a 3D tour, virtual twilights, and that marketing kit. Now one add-on I want to talk about specifically are floor plans. And that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, they are really easy to produce and very cheap to produce. And I'm gonna show you how in a second. But number two, our clients really love them. And so it's a great add-on. You can see that we have it across pretty much all of our packages. And that's because it fits both categories that we like. Our clients like them 
and they're easy for us to produce. When I decided to make this video, I talked with the floor plan company we use called QB Casa, and they were actually willing to sponsor this video for you guys, which is super awesome. So I wanna give them a big shout out for that. And I also wanna talk about the service they provide because it's awesome. Now, obviously when I choose to do sponsorships for videos, I only do it with products I love. And QB Casa is one of my all time favorite companies that we work with, and they produce an awesome product. So I wanna dive into that for you a little bit. First, starting with their pricing, because this is what I think you're really going to like. So if you go to their website, you'll see that the floor plan itself is actually free. And I'm gonna show you how to make this in a second because that's even more fun. But the floor plan itself is actually free. And you can see that option here. Now there are some upgrades. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see that if you add fixed furniture, it costs an additional $15. And we do that for all of our QB Casa scans. I think it makes the floor plans look a lot better. But as you can see, that's really affordable. And jumping back to our actual order form here, you can see that we charge a lot more for the floor plan than they charge us. So it is a very profitable add-on. After paying the $15, we are left with $60 in profit for something that takes us about five minutes. Now, speaking of five Five minutes here's exactly how you make one of these floor plans in five minutes and I think this is absolutely gonna blow your mind the first thing you're gonna do is get out your smartphone and download the QB Casa app once you have that downloaded as you can see here you're gonna create a new floor plan and literally all you do to create this is walk around and scan the baseboards now I have no idea how they do this but the measurements are very accurate and the results are so quick we literally spend five minutes on the average house just scanning the baseboards we submit it to QB Casa and within 24 hours we have back a ready-to-go floor plan and again this is one of our most profitable add-ons and it's the first add-on that I recommend anybody putting into their business because you can literally launch it as a new service in like five minutes worth of time and this is actually the first service we teach our our new photographers to do during the training process because a lot of times when they're in that training process there's times when our lead photographer just can't be working with them directly based on the schedule and needs to go shoot so during that period they'll go make the quick QB Casa scan just to be more efficient so you can literally train yourself to do this in less than five minutes now once you have floor plans added to your business I highly encourage you to add other add-ons to your business as quickly as you can but some of these add-ons take longer to learn and require more money to get set up. So here's the order I recommend you add these to your business in, especially if you're limited on cash or just your ability to learn a bunch at once. I know we all have a lot going on. So you wanna add base photos and you wanna add QB Casa. Those are super easy. You wanna add virtual twilights. Again, doesn't require any equipment, just is done on the editing side, super easy. But let's talk about the add-ons that do have a cost. Drone photos, 3D tours, and video. Now this will fluctuate market to market a little bit, but generally what I recommend doing is adding on drone services first. That is one of our most commonly ordered add-ons. And so you wanna have add-ons that agents are actually gonna order as soon as possible because the more you wait on those, the more money you're leaving on the table. Number two will depend a little bit on your market. It's between 3D tours and videos. Now, if you live in a more suburban area, video can often be not as important because there's just not that much to show outside. And one of the benefits of video is we often get a bunch of captivating drone footage in there. But if you're just seeing a bunch of cookie cutter houses next to each other, agents aren't as likely to order video. They're more likely to order 3D tours because the inside of the house is really what's selling it. So you have to make a decision in your market whether you think there's gonna be more video or you think there's gonna be more 3D tour services. Generally, video is more expensive and harder to learn, and 3D tours are really easy to make, so I tend to go with that one next, and then third following with video. Now, if you're just starting out as a real estate photographer or even thinking about launching your business, do not get overwhelmed with all of these add-ons. This is not something I launched in my business all at once. They came slowly over time, and it's not something I recommend you trying to launch all at once. The most important thing that you can do when it comes to starting and growing a real estate photography business is just take those steps one step after another. So if you're just starting, launch with photos. If you already have photos, launch with QB Casa, drone photos, whatever you can do, but make sure to make progress in the right direction. And the number one thing you can do to kill your progress is to get overwhelmed by trying to do too much at once. So I hope this video gives you some context into your growth path as a real estate photographer and the add-ons you can provide that will significantly boost your business. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or email us at hello at repteam.com and we'd be happy to answer your questions. And once again, big thank you to QB Casa for making an awesome product and for sponsoring this video. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.